My name's Steve, also known as Whole Grain Rolls, and uh, I'm a film photographer. It started with digital photography, and you know that just the general idea of going out, taking photos, and um, yeah, seeing new things. So it was a good way for me to explore the city, explore San Diego, um, like would see the desert. So at that time, when I first picked it up, it was mostly digital. But uh, I was introduced to film around the same time, and I just shot like Fuji Superior point and shoot cameras, just like kept it simple. But I, yeah, at some point with digital, and I did it for years, I just realized I was uh, just taking way too many photos. Just, it pulled me into a more, I don't know, present mindset, and one of the greatest things with film is just kind of accepting the flaws and mistakes that come with it. Uh, at some point, I just kind of had to like trace my, retrace my steps as to why <clears throat> like photography really spoke to me and why I wanted to do more of it. Um, but I, I, yeah, the root of it, like I started to think back and, and I remembered my grandfather, uh, yeah, he was like an inspiration for me. Like he was pretty creative. He liked to, he was like a woodworker. But what I thought was really cool was that he was a like experimental machinist for Polaroid. And I, I don't, at that time being young, like before he passed, I didn't really like, I mean, I wasn't into photography or anything, but I just remember like, I mean, I, Polaroids are awesome. Just you can get a photo instantly like that. But I, I just always thought that was interesting that he worked for Polaroid. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought that that just means a lot. And then, um, yeah, I don't know, every now and then I'll think of him as like a inspiration to just like, yeah, keep going, keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, it's just a different experience. I like that it's tangible. I like that you, you know, it's it's not instant gratification the same way you, with the digital camera, but once I started developing film, just, you know, seeing the film appear is amazing. Like hands down, it's, it's far different than just plugging in the USB. Again, like I said, it definitely slowed me down. I still find myself shooting pretty quick throughout a day. Like I'll shoot through more than I thought at, at times, but um, it still is way, way different than digital. Yeah, so for me, I like shooting with sharper grain, you know, shoot lower ISOs, less grain, um, but it really just depends on what I and everybody else is just trying to capture. So yeah, if you like gritty aesthetics, definitely shoot higher ISOs or push it. Um, but I, I do like the cleaner shots, and I think if you could do that on film, why not? Like do that, nice crispy and sharp edges. Just having the physical actions, it, uh, it just grounds you to things that are around you, like it just grounds you to what you're seeing, and to your environment, and the way I shoot is really just based on whatever's around me. And uh, so it's just, it's just another aspect to keep things Oh, that's gonna sound crazy, but like just to this reality, like, you know, it's just like, and then through the image, like, it'll take it somewhere else. Like it might be, you know, if you shoot slower shutters or like shutter speeds, which I used to do a lot with digital cause like it was easy and you could see the results, but like that, that'll take you into a different reality. But yeah, with this, like with film, I like shooting fast. I like shooting, like just capturing what it is as I see it the best I can and as accurately as I can. As far as vision goes, um, with all arts, like it just depends on the artist and then also the person that is receiving it. But uh, I mean, I think it's important to try to have some kind of message. There's no wrong way to do it. Uh, there's just so many things you could say with a photo. It can just be purely aesthetics and just create something pretty. Uh, but other times, if I, in, in my head, like subconsciously, like I think there's there's elements that I'm trying to like piece together to, to bring some sort of, you know, epiphany or some kind of deeper story than, you know, what you're looking at. You're looking at something, but there, there's something else going on. I do like shooting like photos of strangers. It, with that, that's capturing just like humanity at its like, most raw like it depends on where you are you know some people excel at it I, I think my street stuff isn't as powerful but i do like to capture people in elements in their element 
I'll, I like shooting organic things like plants, trees, and not necessarily landscapes. Uh, yeah, the deserts are cool, but I like I like detail stuff. So if I, I want to get like close to something, or you know, find textures and just really odd things sometimes. Yeah, I mean you can, you totally can. It's 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 all it's just the process. Like it's not gonna be the feeling that you're getting shooting the digital camera versus actually shooting the film. Like those are two different experiences. But yeah, you can post process a digital photo. You could add like fade effects and reduce contrast or add contrast. Like you know, if you like doing that, do it. But if you can shoot film, I mean, shoot shoot film for try to get the the yeah the realist version of it yeah definitely have a different mindset with digital i just feel like i could i'll kind of obsess about trying to get the perfect shot like i do like digital for more like high speed events like i've been to some um like protests and marches and that's when things are really happening quick so i think digital comes in handy there because you you, you want to get the shot when something like that is happening and i think it's just a um, more reliable way of capturing it. So it, it has its benefits, but with film, it, it just takes me into the way things really are around me. And, and I, I get to slow down. I don't, I don't like, I like to be moving, but uh, not too quick that I can't even keep up. I mean, if I had the resources right now, People that know me know that I've been trying to do this, but like I would just develop all my film that I have right now. Like I need to catch up. But if I had like a clean slate and just had an opportunity to, to do bigger projects, um, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, if I if the resources were there, definitely like find uh, like I haven't found my perfect camera, but like I'm sure it's out there. So if I could get that, that'd be sweet. I think traveling, like you said, would be really cool. Um, yeah, just see, just seeing more. Like the world is is really big. Um, so I, I mean, yeah, I would go to as many places as I can, as reasonable. But also, like in the back of my head, I would like to be more intentional with like creating different scenes. Uh, definitely down the road, maybe make a book. And you know, that just takes a lot. Developing, right, right. The first step is get catch up, and then go through photos. But yeah, a book would be cool one day. Early, early into shooting film, I came across Agfa Vista 400. And that was, yeah, that was one of my favorite films. And they discontinued that a couple years ago. And it was just this combination of a uh, camera I was using, Minolta Capios, it's a point and, point and shoot. For some reason, that combination was just like, I don't know, it was a, sh a pretty sharp lens and the colors were really bright and vivid. Yeah, I don't think I found it yet. Uh, but the cameras that I have shot with, Minolta Capios, which I'm, like I have with me today, it's a point and shoot, it just like, I don't know, it just re it was reliable. Dropped it once and broke it, and I bought another one, and that's like the only camera I've like, wanted to just have again. Yeah, it's, I think people should try that again, because or try film, because, um, yeah, it's, you, same reasons why I, I shoot it, so I'll just kind of like, I would s tell that to somebody else. Like it slows you down. I think the experience itself is very different. Um, it sparks curiosity, like the, with the amount of film stocks you have, you just buy one, you try out a new one, and it just like, I don't know, that in itself is an experience when you see the results. The future of film, I, it's, it's still going, like it's, it's definitely skyrocketed in the last, what, like, let's just say like the last decade, really. It's just been going up and up. Uh, so I think it's gonna stick around. There's still filmmakers out there that are using film. And, you know, as long as Kodak and Ilford and these other companies are putting Lomography, like as long as they're all producing film, it's gonna be here. My name's Steven Gavro Jackson and I shoot film. <laughs>